it, I swear, it's not what people really think. A lot of people think that you get every single football game that's available. No, no, you should. That's, that's what the service should be, but that's not what NFL Sunday Ticket is. Uh, it has been a long week. Still working on the deck. Rain is not making it easy. But today I wanted to make a video to try to explain NFL Sunday Ticket on YouTube TV versus NFL Sunday Ticket on YouTube. Because granted they're the same, they're also different prices, and the features in how many games you'll be able to see are technically different. I don't think a lot of people realize what NFL Sunday Ticket exactly is. I think a lot of people think that you just get to watch every single football game that's available. That's, uh, that's not exactly how it works. So I'm going to do my best to explain some of this to you. I have bought NFL Sunday Ticket through YouTube TV. That's my streaming service of choice. So I'm going to put my phone on the rig. I'll have a few pop-ups maybe and just try my best to explain to you exactly what you're getting with NFL Sunday Ticket and the differences between buying it with YouTube TV versus buying it with YouTube. Click like, click subscribe, indulge in your life at indulgeclothing.com for the merch. And let's talk about NFL Sunday Ticket. All right, so let me break this down for you. There is two ways that you can buy NFL Sunday Ticket. You can either buy NFL Sunday Ticket directly through YouTube TV, if you're using YouTube TV as your streaming service, or if you're not using YouTube TV as your streaming service, and say you have regular Comcast cable or charter cable, Dish, DirecTV, Hulu TV Live, Sling TV, whatever else you're using, you would want to buy NFL Sunday Ticket through YouTube. The only real difference here besides a, what you're paying, and B, which app you launch to get in to NFL Sunday Ticket. If you buy it through YouTube TV, it'll be all on YouTube TV. If you buy it through YouTube, it'll be all on YouTube. So here's a pop-up of the pricing structure. You can get NFL Sunday Ticket through YouTube TV for $299 for the season. That, of course, does not include the $72.99 per month that you have to pay for YouTube TV. Or if you go through YouTube primetime channels, it's $399. Now, if you want NFL Sunday Ticket, Ticket and Red Zone, which just shows the Red Zone plays throughout the day. It's actually a pretty cool channel. You can get both of them with YouTube TV for $339 or both of them through YouTube primetime channels for, for $439. So they are charging the YouTube primetime channels a little more, but that's because Google's not making that $73 a month for you being a YouTube TV subscriber. So I think that's why they uh, offset them a little. Now, no, they don't have a, a monthly option. I personally think they should do that like some kind of 12 month commitment where people could break it down and pay 30 bucks extra a month i think that would help them get more subscribers to this now the next question a lot of people would have after price is how many streams do you get so how many people can be watching nfl sunday ticket at one time according to their faq page there's no limit to the amount of streams for nfl sunday ticket from one individual home so if you're all in the same home and there's six of you in that home you can each be watching a different nfl sunday ticket game now if you're outside of the home it's limited to two streams outside of the house. Yes, you can share it with your family through the uh, YouTube TV or through the premium sharing features of YouTube Premium, and you can watch up to four games on one screen with their split view feature. All of those features are whether you buy it through YouTube TV or through YouTube. Again, the main difference there is what you're paying and just which app you launch to view NFL Sunday Ticket. And yes, you can record games for later, even if you're on the YouTube side. They have a way where you can record the games without having to have YouTube TV. So that's pretty nice. Now, let's get to what you actually get with NFL Sunday Ticket. I swear, it's not what people really think. A lot of people think that you get every single football game that's available. No, no, you should. That's, that's what the service should be, but that's not what NFL Sunday Ticket is. In this pop-up, it explains that pretty well. So as you can see, there's three rows here, one for YouTube TV, one for YouTube TV with NFL Sunday Ticket, and one for YouTube with NFL NFL Sunday ticket. Now, as you can see, the one for YouTube TV shows local and regular season games, preseason games, postseason games, and national regular season games. If you notice, you just don't get every out-of-market game. 
That's what NFL Sunday Ticket is. You're paying to watch the games that are not being shown on your local broadcast. So if you have YouTube TV, if you have Comcast, AT&T, Sling TV, wherever you get regular TV from, those games are not going to be on your NFL Sunday ticket. The way to watch those games is through your regular cable TV provider. If the game is not being shown locally on ABC or CBS, Fox, whatever, those are the games that you'll be able to see. So you don't just get access to every single game. That's why if you notice on the next column where it shows YouTube TV with NFL Sunday ticket, they're trying to show you that that's the best one to get because with that, you get access to everything except Thursday night game. If you notice, across the bottom, no Thursday night games. So if you pay for NFL Sunday ticket, you'll get to watch all your out-of-market stuff and you can watch the other ones whatever way you can, but you'll still have to have Prime to watch Thursday night games. So uh, you won't be able to watch Thursday night games without Prime. That's pretty crazy. I think that should really be included with Sunday Ticket. And so then if you notice in the last column where it just shows YouTube with NFL Sunday Ticket, they're basically showing you that you only get access to out-of-market games. So if you're a Falcons fan and it's on your local TV, then you're not going to be able to watch it through Sunday Ticket unless you live in California where the Falcons game is not on local TV and then you'd be able to watch those games. It is good for people who live out of the state where their team or their favorite team plays because then they are normally always gonna be an out of market game. So that's the main thing that NFL Sunday tickets really for. It doesn't give you access to every single game. As you see, you get no access to the Thursday night games at all. You wanna watch Monday night, Sunday night, all that stuff, it's all through CBS, NBC, ESPN. That's the only way to watch those games is through those services, not through your Sunday ticket. So hopefully I've helped explain the purchasing idea of NFL Sunday ticket, as you can really see, more based on how many games you wanna watch. If you just want your out of market games, you can just go with the YouTube side. If you want everything, I'd say drop your Comcast or AT&T or Sling, jump over to YouTube TV and uh, go with the middle package and you'll get everything except the Thursday night games. That's just uh, my suggestion. I will be dropping a video on September 10th when the NFL season starts. So that day I'm actually gonna show NFL Sunday Ticket on my YouTube TV, through my Google TV, as well as through my Xbox, so that people can have an idea of how it works. And uh, I'll kind of explain some of this again, that you only get the out-of-market games. But I won't be covering the price and all these other details in that video. Uh, that's of course all in this one. So that one will be more focused on the actual viewing of NFL Sunday Ticket and how it works. So click like, click subscribe, indulge in your life at indulgeclothing.com for the merch. And we'll see you in the next one. Deuces. Oh,